Ace being red has the best of control and decent aggro capabilities with cards like Flame Emperor able to pop almost any card gives this deck a new level of control. In today's video we're going to talk about how I go about playing Whitebeard, Yellow slash Katakuri, and Black Smoker and Lucci. If you find this video of value if you could do me a favor and subscribe over 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed to the channel and more subs means better content because it'll make it easier for me to partner with other creators. Uh, let's go ahead and dive in. This build is one that I've been playing and there is a full deck profile on my channel. Uh, in this video, we're focusing on matchups. We'll talk about key cards in the matchup and my overall thought process going in. This is a part one, and after talking about the decks, we'll watch some gameplay. Uh, the matchup I've struggled with the most has been yellow, and I think I finally figured it out. So Katakuri swings 7k, and yellow decks are essentially 7 to 8 life leaders, depending on the game and can control your life. Uh, being able to increase their life with 7 drop Big Mom and gain one and make you trash one, creating a 2 card deficit between you is extremely powerful. Uh, so key cards against yellow, uh, the five drop Marco pops blockers and pudding puddings can become swingers when they have awkward turn curves, which puts pressure on your hand, which is key for you to come out ahead. Flame Emperor, if they're on the odd curve, you can resolve two, a one on seven for Big Mom, then another on nine for Katakuri. This lets you control their board and keep it from being overwhelming when they already are swinging 7k. And the 9-drop Whitebeard is a great follow-up after you've popped the Katakuri or Big Mom, or if they don't have any big swingers already on board. I usually like to play it at one life with a blocker or if they have no board. Uh, also, the 7-drop Ace will help you clear boards like always and can make Seaquake live. So, how I play against Yellow. Going into yellow, I take all five of my life with no arguments. This has been my latest strat because if I just take it, then I don't lose value. Uh, if you save life and lose it to Big Mom, you're essentially losing cards from your hand. Then you're also losing that life, which feels pointless. Uh, so I also go in trying to pop Daifuku and Sanji as they allowed them to generate card advantage. So I want them gone. Uh, for Katakuri, if they leave their life where it is, uh, to maximize value, you can swing 5k to see if they want the trigger. Don't overpay for it. Don't give them two dawn. Black, yellow, big mom, you have an advantage because of Flame Emperor. You can swing on them on two and try to connect and then potentially push for game. On to Whitebeard. With Boat gone, uh, going into the format, a 6k leader is still strong. Without Striker in my build, I find myself with awkward dawn usages sometimes. And then so this helps with swinging six. Just use that extra dawn for that. Um, but it is near impossible to get value swings from buggy. So key cards in this matchup, we have Crossfire. It makes the nine beard able to be jet pistoled. This is very important because nine beard makes the leader 8k, which is pretty much impossible to swing on or it's a terrible value. Um, you want to out the nine drop to avoid them having too much power because back to back nine drops is always rough if they stick. If they drop it at with two life, they get to keep it. They're at eight. They drop another one. They're still at eight. They're still at two life they have 8k they've got two on board we just want to avoid that scenario completely we want to try to remove them and crossfire helps that with jet pistol five drop marco he allows you to swing on the leader easier you can go six for six so that's just nice uh four drop marco is a swinger when it comes to going for game just like law uh the five drop blocker Similar concept. He is also a swinger. Do not be afraid to swing with him if you're attempting to push for game. Uh, these also help keep off big nine beard swings and 8k leader swings for one card combo out essentially with any white beard card. Nine beard. I really only deploy if I have two life or at least two Marco blockers, and I'm sure they won't be able to connect for lethal. Of course, you know, becoming a 7k leader is huge, and then also just being able to do those 10 swings back at them. 
very important. Ace makes you able to see quake the Marco. Popping five drop Marcos is super important because most of the time they'll have to give you an event just like the radical beams or the guard points. So you can usually get a super value event from those. And then you just like swing on it to try to keep those events or they lose their swing. Flame Emperor plus Crossfire pops the nine drop as well. So those are also a value or even Flame Emperor Otama. Jet Pistol is also great for popping Blocker Marco uh, on turns you're going for game. Same with Flame Emperor. You do get less Dawn, but you do also get the bonus of that double damage. And then for Black Smoker slash Luchi, when playing against these decks, my go-to strategy is Control. I know they don't have Rush outside of the Luchi, and their late game is the strongest. Also, I make sure to remove any 4-drop Kuzan because he makes any card in your deck donut fodder. Uh, the biggest card to watch out for is Isho, uh, as it'll rip two cards from your hand. In a striker build, this is inevitable because you should always have at least around eight cards in the hand. Um, but he also cannot be destroyed with Flame Emperor, so great addition to the deck for them. They also have Borsalino and a new three-cost blocker that cannot be popped, Fukuro. Uh, so my, fo my control focus is on Sakazuki, Kuzan 4, and 10 drops. Garbs, Isho, and Luchi, uh, since he's their first rusher. Otama, this card is needed to be able to pop Isho and will work best on your 9-10 curve. This also helps Flame Emperor, the 10-drop Kuzan, if they're playing it. Uh, Nine Beard is very good in this matchup. Since they don't have rush outside of Luchi, he's pretty safe. Plus, allows you to swing over anything on your 9 curve, and he can't be popped by Kuzan. Flame Emperor, pop the Luchi, Garp, Kuzan, or Sakazuki. This is also great for popping, uh, then swinging 8k at the at rested characters. That is big if you need to clean up the board. Ace is great for cleaning up a Luchi, drops the Borsalinos so that they're worthless blockers. 5 drop Marco, pop Branu. Uh, he's a swinger, so, and they don't have any low drops, so it's really the only card you can get value out of. Uh, overall game plan is to control the board great thing with ace is we don't have like sh too many shockwave targets they're all one cost and same with kaku uh, they're pretty much all just Izo or buggy and then also i want my opponent to have as few cards on board as possible because it makes it harder to clean up mine and i get to keep growing that pressure all right now on to gameplay we have one match against luffy katakuri luchi and whitebeard enjoy